So I was going to do a whole video on different harvest traditions for the autumn equinox, and I probably still will make a video about that. But in the middle of doing research for that, I came across a character so crazy and fascinating that I felt the need to devote a whole video to him to give it justice. So today we're going to go down that rabbit hole together and explore the very weird story of John Barleycorn and see what it might reveal about pagan history. The autumn equinox, also known as Maybon, is the second of three important harvest festivals. Most pagan festivals embrace the idea of sacrifice, perhaps none more so than the autumn equinox, which is the time when the last sheaf of wheat and barley is going to be harvested. And this notion of sacrifice is one of the key themes associated with the tale of John Barleycorn. You may have heard one of the many musical variations of this story, or perhaps you're more familiar with the Robert Burns version from 1782. And if you have not yet heard this English folk song, pause this video and give it a listen. I'll leave a link to a version of the song down below in the description. So the story of John Barleycorn actually has really old origins. There is a Scottish poem with a very similar theme and wording included in the Bannatine manuscript of 1568, which was during the reign of Queen Elizabeth I. Though it's likely that the story of John Barleycorn actually is even older than that, as the manuscript was made up of pre-existing works, many coming from the ancient oral tradition. And considering the many pagan themes in the story, which we'll definitely get to, it's very possible that the origins of this story lie in pre-Christian times. Specifically, there might even be a link between John Barleycorn and the mythical figure of Beowa from Anglo-Saxon paganism, whose name means barley. Now, the prevailing theory is that the tale of John Barleycorn is a symbolic representation of the barley harvest which occurs each autumn. The song describes the process of preparing the land, sowing the seeds, waiting for the crop to go, and eventually harvesting. Then the song describes making the products of beer and bread, which were key staples to the diet of the early agrarian people. For the most part, this theory makes sense, but for those of you that have read the poem or listened to the song, probably notice the really gruesome way that this harvest is worded. For example, they laid him out upon the floor to work him further woe, and still as signs of life appeared, they tossed him to and fro. They wasted o'er a scorching flame the marrow of his bones, but a millard used him worst of all, for he'd crushed him between two stones. And they hate taken his very heart's blood and drank it round and round. And still the more and more they drank, their joy did more abound. Sure, maybe that's just a creative interpretation of the process of turning barley into beer. And perhaps the reason the story has survived so long is that the violent imagery makes the story more entertaining and thus more memorable. Though perhaps there's a bit more going on here, so let's get a bit nerdy and see if there could be more to the story. I want to share this theory that I recently found that may have some merit, and I'll leave the link to the blog post down below where I first came across this idea. So this theory proposes that the tale of John Barleycorn is more than just a metaphor for the barley harvest, and that in fact it contains references to pagan human sacrifice that occurred in early Britain. And I know what you're thinking, pagan human sacrifice is a big trope that is often used to slander paganism. I mean, we've all probably seen The Wicker Man and Midsummer, and if you haven't yet, you probably should because they're really entertaining movies. But hear me out for a second because there are some really interesting passages in the story of John Barleycorn that I think deserve a second look. So the poem begins with, there were three men come out of the West, their fortunes for to try. And these three men made a solemn vow, John Barleycorn would die. It's interesting that we start with three men coming out of the West. We're all familiar with the religious importance of the number three. The Celtic triad and the triple spiral is of course a famous symbol coming out of Celtic paganism representing the goddess. I also think it's interesting that the men are coming from the West because the West in Celtic lore usually refers to the other world or the realm of the Fae. 
Also in the tale of John Barleycorn, there is an interesting passage that occurs before the cutting of the barley. It states, They let him stand till midsummer, till he looked both pale and wan. And little Sir John, he growed a long beard, and so became a man. Of course, the reference to Midsummer is interesting coming from a pagan perspective, but I'm actually more interested in the growing a long beard part. First, I'm not really sure how that beard part fits if this tale is just a metaphor for the barley harvest. Instead, I think it's possible that it's referencing the long beards of the Druids. The Druids believed that our life force was channeled through the extremities, which is why the Druids grew long hair and beards. So perhaps our John Barleycorn is representing a sacrificial priest. Next in the story, we have a death being depicted, but it's a threefold death. The poem states, they hired men with sides so sharp to cut him off at the knee. They rolled him and tied him by the waist and served him most barbarously. They hired men with sharp pitchforks who pricked him to the heart. The threefold death is a really common theme in Celtic and Anglo-Saxon folklore. Even Merlin in the Arthurian legends prophesied a threefold death for himself, which would include falling, stabbing, and then eventually drowning. So already in the passages of John Barleycorn, we found references to the Celtic triad and the fairy realm in the West, the spiritual and religious significance of beard growing among the Druids, and the importance of the threefold death in Celtic lore. So what's really going on here? Well, in the famous anthropological work The Golden Bough by Sir James Fraser, he states that the Barley King was personified in ancient ritual by a real person. This man was honored as a king during the yearly cycle, but when it came time for harvest, he was sacrificed and dismembered and his body was dragged through the fields in order to ensure a fertile harvest for next year. And that reminds me of a particularly gruesome passage in this poem. They've wheeled him around and around the field till they've come unto a barn. And here they've kept their solemn word concerning barley corn. They've hired men with crab tree sticks to split his skin from bone. If this is just a metaphor for harvesting barley, then what is the purpose of wheeling him around and around the field? Perhaps Sir James Fraser is right, and this passage could be a reference to the sacrificed individual being dragged through the fields in order to ensure a fertile harvest. It's definitely a disturbing visual, and I should probably point out that we really don't have much historical evidence concerning pagan religious sacrifice. One of the most popular accounts of pagan human sacrifice comes from Julius Caesar during his conquest of Gaul, where he reports to have seen an individual who was placed inside a wooden effigy and burned to death, which we now know as the Wicker Man. Though considering the Celts were his enemy at the time, it's definitely possible Julius Caesar may have been exaggerating a bit. So while it's likely that some human sacrifice did occur among the ancient Celts and Anglo-Saxons, we don't really have too many details, and it's definitely likely that some of those details might have been exaggerated. So when it comes to our story of John Barleycorn, we really have two main theories. The first theory is that the story of John Barleycorn is just a metaphor for the barley harvest, and any violent wording was just kind of added for extra flair and doesn't necessarily have any additional significance. The second theory is that the story of John Barleycorn actually contains references to pagan human sacrifice that may have occurred among the Celts and the Anglo-Saxons. So which theory is correct? In my opinion, I think it might be both. I think the main purpose of the story is to be a metaphor for the barley harvest. Though, because this story is in fact very old, I think it did pick up some pagan references, stereotypes, and motifs along the way. But I'd love to hear what you think the story of John Barleycorn represents, so share your thoughts down below in the comments. And if you liked this video and would like to support the work I do here as well as my pagan research, I would love if you would consider joining my Patreon family. For the price of a cup of coffee, you get monthly live chats, tarot readings, and extra content. So thanks for watching guys, and I really hope you did enjoy this video. I'll see you next week. Bye.